this to another 1991 Pokemon video. Hopefully this video will be the completion of a master set and hopefully a video showing the Burning Shadows master set completion. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna start with the opening. I'll start with this one. This is just some mail that came through today and I'm hoping that these are the two cards that I need to complete the uh, the master set. Now I'm doing this on a new rig, as you can see. This is uh, yeah, seeing how it goes anyway. Just a different fo phone holder contraption. Man, got tape over the top. Let me just get my scuttle pull because this is surgical. Bit of tape. Sorry if the camera is wobbling. Hopefully you don't get motion sickness, but yes. I found an eBay seller that had seven of these dark energies. I didn't, <laughs> I've opened so many triple uh, booster packs of Burning Shadows because I was getting so many hits out of them. And if you see my uh, recent videos of me opening triple packs from Ultra Prism, and soon to be Crimson Invasion that are going to go up like, <laughs> uploaded soon. You'll see that uh, the pools weren't so great. But yeah, I was getting uh, amazing pools in the Burning Shadows triple packs. But uh, let me just get rid of that paperwork. But uh, I never got the chance to pull this. <laughs> oh, wow. Now this is taking me so long to get. A decent cut. Oh, that is good. Wow. So, yeah, I've opened so many triple packs. I must have opened, I'd say, at least 300. I'd say 300 triple booster packs. So, almost, a th I'd say, over a thousand boosters, actually, of Burning Shadows to try and complete the set. Now, I managed to uh, sell the um, most of the bulk on eBay to make up for like the loss as you'd call it but yeah I'm doing this as a a profit sort of thing so I'd buy triple packs and sell them sell the bulk on for profit and I don't actually want to take this out of the uh, the top loader uh, taking out the top loader but not the sleeve I might do I'll do it after But there's some big money in these Charizard rainbows. Just checking the quality of the back. But yes, this means it's probably the best alignment that I've seen on eBay anyway. I've seen some PSA 10s that look shocking. Shockingly cut. But these seem quite equal-ish. It's a bit short on the right. But yeah, I'll, I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't prepared to spend a lot of money on something that was badly cut and... Uh, rubbish <laughs> condition but yeah so uh, that concludes oh I've hit the camera now it's swaying but this is my Burning Shadows master set then I don't know where to put these I'll put these at the side for now just there you can see them they're safe it's alright they're just going to stay there but yeah this is the probably one of the longest master sets taken like opening and trying to collect so I've had to buy so many of these cards that I haven't pulled um, some mostly full arts, but well, it's all full arts and the 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 gold secret rares that I've had to buy off eBay because I, no matter how many um, packs I was opening, I just wasn't getting any any luck. I think I had to buy like a reverse Kingdra as well because I, I wasn't pulling any of them, even after hundreds of packs, like nothing. It was just becoming a bit of a joke on this set, <laughs> like the amount of times. Um, a lot of times I was buying packs and opening them and getting nothing. Well, not nothing, but I was getting the same GXs and the same cards like over and over again. There wasn't any difference in the GXs. I was getting Galithopods all the time, like the Full Arts and the, the Rainbows. Um, my champs, a lot of them. The Crowsmans, they did all right, though. Um, but, yeah, a lot of the, the cheaper cards just kept flying out. Slazzles, loads of Slazzle Rainbows and Full Arts. <laughs> And they're like the worst one to get. But I love the Marshadow artwork though in this set. 
man. I wish that card had done better. Uh, I wish I'd have kept more of those marshallows. I don't know why, but I think that artwork looks sick <laughs> on that that particular card. So I'm not going in in depth and close with the camera, but it's locked into the the new device. I was playing a lot of Gardevoirs as well, actually. Not so many Dark Rise. A few mucks, but yeah. Um, to say the Gardevoir was worth a lot, it was pretty good getting those pulls regularly. And um, not made up, like, I'd sell them straight on eBay, maybe make a place out of some of the cards so it would pay for the the hit, uh, the misses that I was missing, you know. <laughs> so it was like paying for itself. And lots of Guzmas as well. Which is great in the Kiawi, making playsets of them on eBay, selling them off. It's just about knowing what what playsets to make, you know. Now here we go. What's taking so long? I, I didn't pull any Hotos for Lots either. They took ages. And finally, we can complete this page. <laughs> Ta da! Guzmas, I didn't pull any for like Guzmas either. <laughs> I pretty much pulled every card on this page apart from that. And I think a Neuvern, actually. I don't know why. But all these I was pulling regularly and selling off. <laughs> Not got any on my eBay at the minute. And then this is the last page. Just gonna put this. Sleeve this dark energy fast for you guys. But uh, yeah, I started collecting the extras as well to complete the master set fully including like the staff cards and whatnot and the champion uh, league champion ship Guzmas but yeah I'm still missing a few of them a few extra cards but yeah I'm glad to have finally got <laughs> this set completed let me know what um, set you want to see next in the, the master sets that I've got uh, that's another master set I've just completed I'll show you Oh yeah, there's some more of the... I've had to put them in the back of this folder because I've not managed it very well. I wasn't sure whether or not I was doing another... adding the extras in, so I just kept this page separate and then started another master set on there. But yeah, I just finished that the other day. <laughs> I'll do another video on that set another time. But yeah, I'll just flip back through the pages just so you can see. I might take the camera off actually so you can... I'll do a quick whiz around on some of the cards. Well, the cut on these cards were terrible, I thought, on this set. There's hardly a border on the Tapu Finis. <laughs> or the Salazzle. But luckily I've got this guy. And he's pretty decent. Pretty happy with that. I'll go back on the other page as well and give some close-ups of them. I didn't pull any uh, secret rear energies either. So I had to buy these off eBay. Oh, no, I, I paid for one off eBay because someone had one on for 15 quid, 15 pounds. And uh, I thought I'd get it while it was cheap because everyone was putting on for like 20, so five pound off. And I thought oh, I'll get that. And then I think a couple of packs later, I ended up opening one. And it was my first Secret Rare Energy. I've had loads of the Super Scoops. Didn't, I had to buy the Rescue Stretcher. The Choice Band I had to, I had to buy as well. I was pulling, pulling loads of multi switches and body dumbbells I've had about five six of those which isn't that many actually if you can think about all the, <laughs> the packs I was opening uh, I don't have to reshuffle these around just so they're more presentable I don't know you know move move the full arts onto one page maybe I never know how to lay out my binders I always do them differently in different sets but yeah these quad row folders are great <laughs> Sorry if my hands are shaking.
I love the artwork on this, uh, the, the hollow on it actually, the Paragon Z, just that mirror shine on it, look at that, felt special when you pulled that, whereas some of them are sort of like the Zygarde hollow, that was a bit subtle, similar in some of the newer sets as well, like, you can't tell whether it's a hollow or not, it's quite, and dark eye as well, <laughs> that hollow is quite sort of, it looks, it doesn't look so subtle in the binder though, adding the uh, flash to it. There's Muck and Dark Eye. Possibly my favourite card apart from, you know, the, uh, the Charizard and the Mars Shadow artwork there. Love it. I think it's just the colours on it. The contrast of the colours. Bam! That was the most common card out of this set. Hundreds of them. Absolute hundreds. Can't get rid of them. So if you want a play set of them, ask me. <laughs> and that Vespers actually as well. I like the artwork on this one as well, in the hollow one. Dust snore. Sort of ghost like. Very pretty. Pretty indeed. Those are the Gyaradoses as well, pulled loads of those. And I, I play that on my uh, set as well, so I've started doing play sets of the Ninetales. Really good against uh, GX. Haha, <laughs> look at that attack. Ability, I mean. You can't attack it if you're, you've got a GX or any X. You know? It's really strong. Really good card. I think a few people play it. I'm not into playing it, but as in playing Pokemon, but when I do, that's pretty much the one of the cards that I play with. And the Eevee from Sun and Moon base set, and then evolve it into the Espeon or Glaceon. But yeah, there's my master set of uh, Burning Shadows finally completed today, which is Wednesday the 30th. Completed. On to the next one. Thanks for watching guys and uh, look out for more of the videos but yeah, thanks for watching, see ya bye.